And we turn our attention to our final event for the 2017 Steigen Spectac Spectacular down here at Landy Field in Geelong. Our men's 5,000, an interesting race if you're looking at the start list here. So we've got Brett Robinson, David McNeil, Jack Rayner, Dijan Gabrisalesi, Patrick Tiernan, Ryan Gregson, Jordan Williams, and Stuart McSween. We have seen some of those names here tonight. So we do have Tiernan, Gregson, Williams, and McSween, all pacemakers as well. We suspect trying to get Brett Robinson, um, Dave, Jack, and Dijan through to those qualifiers there. But Brett definitely, he's only a few, few hundreds of a seconds away. So he has run a 3.22.93 5K time there. The A qualifier for the Com Games is 3.22.60. So he doesn't have too much time to get there. And we suspect that's why we've got so many pacemakers in this race. We have actually just got some news here. So it does look like Brett Robinson has scratched from this race. We're not quite sure why. We'll try and see if we can get that information throughout this race. But it doesn't look like Brett Robinson is there on that start line either. So Brett Robinson, we're not quite sure, but we are being told that he is scratched. So it must be recent because he is on our start list. That actually means we have more paces than competitors, which is um, unusual. So we'll have to turn our attention to Dave McNeil here. 13.29.11. Going for that A qualifier. And Dave had a really good run over Zadipek, just getting third place over Brett. Those two had a bit of a battle over the last 800. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes backing up after that run uh, just nine days ago, as Nick Earl told us. So we're just waiting for this race to get underway here. Right on time, so scheduled for 9.10. So it does look like they're still doing a warm-up, so we're not quite sure what's holding up the races here. Maybe they're also looking for Brett. <laughs> yes, maybe. We've just got an another fresh start list, and according to it, Brett Robinson is running. So we are not quite, we're not quite sure what's going on. But I believe these start lists we are getting our athletes checking in. A bit strange. And yes, we've just received confirmation there from our meet manager that Brett Robinson is in fact scratched from the race. So a <laughs> little bit of back and forth there, but that's all right. So Brett Robinson unfortunately won't be running tonight. So yes, as Lyndon did say off the top, we do have as many pacemakers. <laughs> no, if not more, more pacemakers. Yep. Three runners, four pacemakers. That is a great service. Next event on the track is the final event of the evening, the 5,000 metres. Competitors are David Gabriel Selassie from Mentone, Dijan 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 Gabriel Selassie from Mentone, so Dave McNeil does have a B qualifier in the 5,000 with a 13.29.11 set at the start of the year in February, February in New Zealand there as well. So he'll be looking to try and upgrade that to an A qualifier, especially with all the pacemakers there. So we do see all the Nike athletes with all their singlets. Dijon there in position one, Jack. Could be interesting to see. We get some votes on the live stream of who wore the Nike race kiss be best. And, away. and we're underway here, and we'll see which of our Nike athletes is going to take the early lead. It does look like it's probably going to be Jordan. So Jordan's going to take the early pacemaking 
duties. Now, he did win the mile tonight, so we'll see how far he does go. I'm sure his legs will be quite heavy with the three, the sub four minute mile. Stewart there as well did assist Jordan through that mile, so, and with Zadapek as well in his legs. You can see the familiar Nike uniform there. So we've got Jordan in front, Stewart in second, Ryan Gregson in third, Patrick Tiernan in fourth, then the first of our competitors, Dave McNeil, in fifth position there. As they come up 400 metres into this 5K, 104. So we do suspect they are aiming for roughly a 13.20, yeah, which is 70, 64 second laps. So they're pretty spot on with that early pace. The first lap sometimes a bit hard to, to get right off the gun. But when you've got four paces, that probably helps. I'm not quite sure if I've ever seen four pacemakers. Definitely not of this calibre. So we've got our three actual runners out there at the back there. Dave McNeil, Jack Rayner, and Dijan Gabrisalesi. And almost all of these guys train together, so this is probably just like a training session for them. About 210 through the 800 metres into this 5k. And I suspect the only movements we're probably going to get in this race is the pacemakers dropping off. Yeah, and it almost looks like Geordie's about to surrender that chief pacemaker position. I think that's fair. He just ran a sub four minute mile. We'll be seeing him in the Gold Coast, both in February and most likely the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, so his job's done. So now three paces remain. And we're even for paces versus competitors there as they go through 243, that first kilometre. Gavris Lassie, the first to feel the pace, dropping 15 metres shy of the rest of the group. So we do have Stewart here out in front. 316 there through 1200 metres. Brian Gregson in second position. Paddy Tiernan in third. Dave McNeil, first of our competitors there. In, f in fourth position. Jack just behind him. Opting for the the black Nike singlet there. And a nice moustache to match. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Dave goes this year. Um, he's gone back to uni studying physiotherapy full time. So he's been very busy, which is a bit different to the um, athlete lifestyle. So I know he's been uh, juggling a lot to do. So hopefully he's been uh, be able to get the same training he's in that he's been hoping to. In fact, I saw Dave on campus not too long ago and asked him how the transition was going and he said uh, probably a bit of profanity, profanity in what he said but <laughs> essentially he is very flat out and wake, waking up at 5am to go for his morning runs is a bit different to uh, the group sessions at 9am but it's a balanced lifestyle yeah, Stewie just checks the watch trying to keep that pacing on track so it was 419 through 1600 there so a 63 second lap by our pacemakers. And I guess also keeping in mind that our first two competitors actually in the race are probably about a second back from our front marker when we are getting split. Do see Dave McNeil there right on the toes of Patrick Tiernan, so he is making sure that he does stay on pace there. So it does look like Dave is feeling quite comfortable as they come up to the 2K mark of this 5k so, 
So it's 523 through two kilometers. So 520 is a 1320. As McSwain waves goodbye, and then we have four remaining. And Ryan Gregson takes over pacemaking duties at the front now. So our two actual competitors are edging closer to the front. And it's 5.41 there through 2K for Dijon, who's back there and is going to be running a race on his own. And whilst Gregson is just pacing, he is our national 1500 metre record holder, both indoors and outdoors. Uh, so for the crowd here in Geelong, whilst he will not finish the race, it's um, some good showing. And we do see an update here from the Albie Thomas Mile that's currently taking place in New South Wales, or looks to be a finished now. Gusman taking it out in 3.57.28 as well. So well done to Jordan there for that that run and thank you Dave for the update. In 2016 Jordan was the winner here in Geelong in both the mile and the 10,000 metres. Unfortunately with the days clashing he had to choose Alby Thomas but we'll hope to see him back here next year. Yeah it would have been interesting to see if we had those two Jordans in the same race again because they did both run very similar times on different tracks and completely different races. And I recall last year here at the mile when Jordan Guzman raced, he beat Jordan Williams and it was in a photo finish, both just missing out on the four minute mark. And Dave is saying here, is all over the stats, 0 0.08 seconds that that gap was there between Jordan and or Jordan Guzman and Jordan, Jordan Williams. So slightly slower that lap just previous there, 6.28, a 65 second lap. Yeah, and Jack Rayner just starting to feel the pace a little bit and dropping a little bit back from Dave. And our two paces are edging a little bit away from Dave as well. So a quick lap there, so our pacemakers are aware that the pace did drop that previous lap. 63 seconds to take them to 2800. As they come up here to the start line, they'll hit the three kilometer mark of this 5K run. It looks as if Gregson's gonna jump off the track here as well. So it's gonna be down to Paddy Tiernan. A handy 805 through three kilometers. Jack Rayner following through in 808. So not many remaining now with only five laps to go. With uh, Pat Tien and our lone pacemaker left. Gavris really Lassie is now approaching the three kilometre mark. He runs through 3,000 in 8.37. And at the same time as Dijon ran through that 3,000 metre mark, Paddy Tiernan ran through the 3200 in 8.37 as well there. So a 62 second lap. So he is pushing Dave McNeil through these final stages of the 5K. Gregson seems to have popped back into the race to help out Jack Rayner through. Ensure that he still has the assistance of the pacemakers. Very noble of him. Quite the operation, the pace making in this rate tonight. I can imagine there was a lot of coordination here. And a lot of favours to return. Yeah, there definitely is some kind of record book to keep track of all of these. Stewie's definitely earned some credits tonight. Switching your attention just away from the racing here. Isaac, you do seem to have a fair few fans <laughs> commenting here. It's quite I'm distracting. I'm glad I cannot see the comment list from where <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm focused in in this race. So this is interesting. Gregson has pulled Rayner back onto the shoulder of McNeil. So hopefully the two of them can then work together through this uh, last couple of laps and that pace did slow down quite a bit there for Dave McNeil a 71 second lap so quite a dramatic drop off I think that's why we have found that Jack has been able to jump back on here 
and Reiner takes the lead. Yeah, it seems Pat's still sticking to that pace that was prescribed, um, despite uh, the others dropping off a little bit, but you do keep seeing a, him have a look over the shoulder to see where they are. Potentially the nine-day turnaround hasn't been enough to freshen up for Dave, as he was evidently in good form due to his performance. That's out of pet. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty tough turnaround to me. I have no intentions of running a 10K, but I imagine it doesn't feel great for a little while after. However, Rayner did the same turnaround as he was fifth at Zadopec in the 10,000. He is the last past few years, he's, as he's jumped into the adult ages, he's stepped up and he's definitely becoming a well-credentialed athlete himself amongst these training partners of his. And it probably isn't an accurate representation, but there was a 69 second lap between the two leaders. We do know though that Jack did jump back on, on top there for the 4K mark. So Tinnan's trying to pull Jack through here now. At this point, you might think Pat is actually going to be a finishing pacemaker. Of course, Tinnan himself already has the 5K. Oh, just as I said that, he pulls off. <laughs> 600 remaining. Everest Lassie moves through 800 to go in 12.15. So Jack is now on his own. So as I was mentioning, Patrick Tiernan, 13-13-44. So he's already got himself an A qualifier. So he's just helping out a few training partners here. The crowd are putting their hands together yeah, quite seat. loudly as he hits the bell in about 12.40. And I've definitely seen Jack finish some races very fast. So you expect him to close pretty well this last 400. Including quite a famous race when he outkicked the one Matthew Centrowitz. Olympic champion, 1500 metres. And Dave hits the bell in 12.53. We won't be seeing a qualifier tonight, unfortunately, but there's still time in the season, and they, uh, they will head up to Falls Creek, get fitter, and have another crack in the new year. So a 65 second lap there for Jack. So he's picked the pace back up as he comes in here with 100 metres to go. Just as Greg Wesselesi hits the bow in 13.27 and Rayner is running down the straight. Great work from our three competitors here. Grimacing, mouth open, teeth out, crosses the line in 13.41, 93. Unofficial. McNeil hits the top of the straight, 100 metres to go. Very tough run, went for it, took on the pace early. As McNeil crosses the line in 14.08. As we turn our attention back to the start of the front straight here, and Zach Newman, our final competitor, is approaching the finish line here. A great run, had to do a lot of the work on his own. Yes, poor Dijan had his own race pretty much. Very gutsy to uh, jump into such a credentialed race where the pace is so hot early. And he crosses through in 14.37. Arms up over his head. And we'll go down to Linden. And we will go down to Lyndon there, who's got Jack, the winner of that 5,000 metres. Lyndon, take it away. Oh. Jack just takes a minute to congratulate on our other competitors. Um, we'll grab a quick, sorry, I'm down here with Jack Rayner, winner of the 5K tonight, the lucky last event on the program. Uh, looks like a bit of a tough one out there, but quite the orchestrated pacemaking uh, situation going on. How much did that help you out there? Oh, it helped a lot. We're supposed to be set up for Brett Robinson to run the qualifier, but unfortunately I had to pull out, so we was just set up for the other guys in the group, me and Dave, and yeah, it's just a bit too tough out there. 
Yeah, definitely not easy on your own all those laps. Where to from here? Um, up to Falls Creek in about a week. So I'll spend yeah, a few weeks up there and then into racing next year. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but I'll find out soon enough. <laughs> And planning on focusing on the 5K, having another crack at that qualifier? Yeah, I'll definitely give another 5K a go. Maybe even a steeple, who knows? But yeah, five or steeple, yeah. Well, good luck. We're excited to see some good results from you this year. Thanks a lot, Lindsay, and cheers. No worries, good luck.